What's up everyone? Welcome to my channel. In this video you will learn what is slip angle, what is lateral force and what is self-aligning torque. So without spending much time, let's start now. This is a tire carrying the load W and it is moving straight. Now when you take a right turn, the tire will experience a centrifugal or the inertial force in left direction at the center of wheel, shown by FC. Due to this force FC, the tire will have the tendency to skid towards left direction and to prevent this skidding, the force is acted at the bottom in the right direction shown by Fy, where Fy is the lateral force. Basically, this is the resisting friction force given by Fy equals to mu y multiplied by w, where mu y is the lateral coefficient of friction in y direction. When the centrifugal force Fc is greater than the lateral force Fy, the tire will skid. Now let's see this case at the micro level. The threads here are shown by the brush bristles. Now, as the tire is pushed towards the left direction due to the force Fc, the threads will resist this force and will generate a tension in them. This tension or the resisting force is the lateral force. So this is how the lateral force is generated. Now let's see what is happening at the bottom of contact patch. This is a contact patch and these are the center lines C1 and C2. This is the forward moving force Fx, the centrifugal force Fc and the lateral force Fy. Now, due to the combination of the force Fy and the forward force Fx, the deformation of the threads at the contact patch changes like this. Initially, the patch was straight, but now it is curvy. Let's see why this happened. Suppose you are sitting on the thread shown by black dot and currently you are in the undeformed region. Now, as the tire rolls, you hit the contact patch which is acted by the force Fx in the forward direction and the lateral force Fy in the right direction. So due to the combination of these two forces, you will be moving in this direction. And you will be displaced to the second dot position, then to third and so on. Basically, you are getting stretched away from the central line C1. You will get deformed till the maximum value of the lateral force Fy is achieved. So after a particular distance from C2, the maximum lateral force is achieved and after that, you get skid off and start moving again to reach the plane C1 of the tire. This cycle happens with every tread and they all form this type of curve at the bottom of contact patch. Making tangent to this deformation, we will get the actual heading direction of the tire and now the angle between the center line C1 and the tangent is alpha, which is the slip angle. The distance from the center line C2 where the lateral force is acting is called the pneumatic trail. Now, this is your straight moving tire and for turning, you give it a small steering angle delta. This will deform the contact patch and there will be a generation of lateral force. The tire actual heading direction is this and the tire is pointing in this direction. The angle between them is called the slip angle. Now, as the lateral force is acting at a distance from the center, which is equals to pneumatic trail, this will develop a torque mz in clockwise direction, where mz is called the self-aligning torque. Note that this torque will reduce when the lateral force decreases, slip angle decreases. As a decrease in them, this will lead to the decrease in pneumatic trail and the self-aligning torque will decrease. So this is how the self-aligning torque, lateral force and the slip angle are generated. This much for this video. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, hit the like button. Don't forget to share the video with your friends and colleagues if you find the video useful and also if you have any doubts regarding the video, you can comment in the comment box. Subscribe to my channel, hit the bell icon to get the latest updates. Want to check my blogs on vehicle dynamics? Go and check on my website. The link is in the description box. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring.